Uh, if you were ignorant and you stole like a haram item from a person, but you repented, do you still have to com compensate with like charity? First of all, when you steal something from an individual, this is a stolen property. You took from me this mug. Whatever you done with it, you broke it, you sold it, you used it, you still have it. My possessions are missing. So you cannot repent without giving this item back to me or the equivalence of its actual cost. Why? Because you've taken something from me and you owe me. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, who had ever taken something or done something to his brother in this dunya, he has to clear that with him in this dunya before the day of judgment. Because on the day of judgment, there is no dirham or dinar. There is no dollar or sterling pound. There is only good deeds and bad deeds, which means that if you failed in compensating me for what you had stolen from me, I'll take from your good deeds on the day of judgment. If you don't have any good deeds, I'll give you some of my sins and put it on you so that you would be punished instead of me for those sins. Therefore, you have to compensate the person you stole the property from. I don't have money. I don't know where the person is. I know if I do such a thing, I'll be put in cups and, uh, cuffs and, and they'll throw me in jail. Okay, there is a greater harm. In this case, you have to take the equivalence of the uh, uh, cost of this mug and give it to the poor and needy Muslims as a form of cleansing your wealth and on behalf of that person, hoping that on the day of judgment, he would approve of such charity and accept it. Otherwise, may Allah Azza wa Jal make him pleased and compensate him with whatever he would make him forgive uh, your uh, uh, crime on the day of judgment. But these are the only two choices you have and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.